In this video of cell signaling, we will be discussing about necroptosis. It is a signaling pathway which leads to cell execution through the tumor necrosis factor. The necroptosis is programmed form of necrosis. Just like we have apoptosis, which is caspase dependent programmed cell death, in the same way we have necroptosis, which is caspase independent programmed cell death. Both the pathways are mediated through TNFR1, that is tumor necrosis factor receptor 1. To start the necroptosis signaling pathway, we see we have the cell membrane. And in this cell membrane, we have the TNF receptors in the form of monomoles distributed over the plasma membrane as shown in the diagram. In the structure of TNFR1, it has got dead domain to its intracellular side. And this dead domain mediates downstream signaling. But this domain remains inhibited by the action of another protein called SODD, that silencer of dead domain. Now let's initiate the signaling. First of all, the TNF alpha molecules, which are the signaling molecules in this pathway, are present outside of the cell as shown in the diagram. Here in this animation, TNF alpha molecules comes in and binds the TNF receptors on the plasma membrane. And the binding of TNF alpha induces trimerization of TNF receptor as shown in the diagram. Once the trimerization is completed, the SODD leaves the dead domain. And from here, the downstream signaling starts. First of all, dead domain of TNFR1 recruits triad protein and RIPK1 protein. Then this triad protein in turn recruits TRAP2 protein. And this TRAP2 protein is one of the important proteins here. Because it allows for the engagement of ubiquitin ligase, which is CIAP, cellular inhibitor of apoptosis protein. So here we saw the binding of CIAP towards the receptor complex. Then from here many different pathways emerge. First of all, IAP promotes ubiquitination of its own molecules and RIPK1 molecules. And once the ubiquitination is completed, furthermore the Lubeck is recruited, which induces extensive ubiquitination of RIPK1, IAP, TRAP2, TRAD molecules also. Now we have the ubiquinated complex. It leads to activation of TAG1, TAB2, TAB3 complex, which in turn activates NEMO protein. That finally leads to NFKB or NF-kappa-B pathway activation. And this NF-kappa-B pathway activates CFLIP-S molecules. The detailed NF-kappa-B pathway is already discussed in the video linked in the description. Now we stop from here because we need the CFLIP-S molecule later in the necroptosis pathway. Now getting back to the triad trap rib complex. Here the complex is ubiquinated. And to get into necroptosis pathway, first we need to deubiquinate the proteins. And it's done by CYLD molecule. So from this process, we get the deubiquinated RIPK1 protein, which further recruits FADD, as shown in the diagram. In the next step, the FADD RIPK1 complex recruits caspase 8 molecule. It can lead to apoptosis from here, if caspase remains as such. But to prevent the caspase cascade, we need to deactivate or inhibit the caspase 8 molecule. And it's done by the c -flip s molecule. From the NFKB pathway, we got the c -flip s molecule. This c -flip s forms dimer with caspase 8. And it renders caspase 8 inactive, thereby inhibiting apoptosis. But it must be noted that if c -flip s does not inactivate the caspase 8, the higher levels of RIPK3 molecule renders caspase 8 inactive, which we are going to see later in this video. So we see here the phosphorylated RIPK1 recruits RIPK3. And this RIPK3 is autotransphosphorylated, which then also inactivates caspase 8. Proceeding further, the activated RIPK1 and RIPK3 complex phosphorylates and activates MLKL monomers and induces oligomerization of MLKL monomers. The MLKL oligomer is then translocated into the plasma membrane as shown in the diagram, where it forms octomer pore. This pore will allow for the entry of damps and ROS, which eventually leads to cell death. So this is how necroptosis is accomplished. Also remember, during the process of necroptosis, the TNFR1 crosstalks with riboflavin kinase 
which then interacts with many different proteins like P22FOX and NOx proteins to get the functional NADPH oxidase, which then eventually generates ROS that also adds to the necroptosis. So this concludes the necroptosis signaling pathway. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.